Good morning, friends around the world. Let's begin our meditation. This is a reading from Mindful Christianity Today. It's a reflection on healing a sarcastic and critical spirit as if spoken through the words of Christ. Nathaniel's first reaction to overhearing that I was the Messiah said, Nazareth? Can anything good come from there? His biting sarcasm was on full display when irony and a critical spirit control your life. You are suspicious of everyone's motives. You, without thinking, assume everyone is out to get you. A sarcastic and critical spirit hurt and the people you love. Sarcasm is false protection from the betrayal and pain you experience when you are hurt by your family and friends. Critical spirit develops when you think life is unfair and unjust, one tragedy and setback after another. Cause your world to become dark and hopeless. You, like the author of Ecclesiastes, perceive life as meaningless and without hope for the future. Resentments take root and you become hostile and do not trust anyone in your life. You find a way to deal with your pain by deflecting your anger away from yourself and displacing it on others. You are angry at the world because life devastated your expectations. In trying to avoid the pain, you no longer risk being open and vulnerable. You now live with the conviction people cannot be trusted and are pessimistic about everything and critical of people's motives. Nathaniel tended to be sarcastic and judgmental, but he overcame those flaws. You also can let go of the hurtful lies and hypocrisy you have experienced and release your painful memories to me. As Jacob wrestled with me throughout the night and received a blessing to live, I encourage you to face head-on the pain and hurt in your life. You do not have to resolve all your questions to find meaning and fulfillment. When I think back at my own sarcasm, I can recall these words. Oh, come on now, I was just kidding. Or, geez, can't you take a joke? I never stopped to think about the root definition of sarcasm, which is tearing of the flesh. In today's world, it's really, really easy to become sarcastic and cynical, isn't it? We don't have to look far to see all that's wrong. But is that how we want to live out the rest of our lives? Do we really want to be looking for all the weeds or do we want to seeking the flowers in our lives? Let's think about this the rest of the meditation, okay? Sarcasm, the tearing the flesh, is merely anger in disguise. And if that's true, and I think it is, then let's use it to make us aware of our subconscious anger and bring it into the conscious state. So the next time I take a swipe at someone with my words, let me stop and ask myself this question. What am I angry about? Then own my anger with the one whose flesh I had just torn and replace it with something positive. Here's an example. If you think wearing a face mask is hard, Just think about how hard it'll be when you have to wear a ventilator. See? (laughs) Yes, that's sarcasm. Now ask yourself the question, why am I angry? Hmm, I think I'm angry. No, I think I'm afraid of the coronavirus. I'm angry people won't wear a mask like I do because I don't want to get infected. Now that's being honest. Now replace it with something that overrides your anger and fear. Something like, I'm really concerned that you aren't wearing a mask when you need to. I'm afraid that you are encouraging others to do the same. That's it. Now consider this. Which one would you rather hear? The sarcastic message or the one filled with compassion? Which message would more likely change you?